So here we are. What I've got is pretty simple. This is a Windows XP system. I've already loaded up the disk management tool, and we can see there's a C drive, and that's it. So what we'll do is we'll go to VM. We'll go to Edit Settings, and I'm going to add a disk. There we go. Hard disk. And it gives me some options, probably some you've seen before. So do I want to create a new virtual disk, use an existing, or an RDM? I'm going to choose RDM, and what I'm doing is I've got my Synology NAS presenting some iSCSI block-based LUNs to my systems. So we'll say Next, and it says which LUN do you want to use. I'll just use that one. And specify the data store. Remember, we have a LUN mapping file, so I'm just going to put that on data store 4. That's fine. And it says, do you want to do this as physical mode or virtual? Again, remember, physical is basically as close as you can get to actually passing that LUN to the VM, whereas virtual gives you some extra capabilities like VMware snapshots. Uh, you know, it kind of depends. You know, there's a couple of use cases for clustering for physical, else you probably want to do virtual. I'll just click virtual. The process is the same. And then a uh, virtual device node, it'll say, you know, which SCSI device do you want to show? And just like normal for disk, you can set the mode either independent, persistent, non-persistent. You know, you don't see this in physical because, again, you don't have access to snapshots. So that's the difference there. Say next. It'll say, do you want me to add this? And I'll say absolutely. And we'll say OK. We'll see the task kick off. We'll come over here. May need to do a scan. Click, right click. Free scan. And now we see the 500 gig volume. So again, it's really simple. There's not a lot to it. Um, but again, the use cases are kind of particular. Uh, don't get caught up in doing these a lot, but you know, um, it's not hard to do if you need it.